All right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Um, I don't have a model to show you because it's all out of fresh and I didn't do one ahead of time. But what we're going to need today is our new product. It's called a Flora Cheers. It's got a um, plastic base on the top that holds your, your arranger nicely on the top of a bottle. There we go. All right. Did every was did everyone get that so far? We had a little interruption there for some reason. Um, but anyway, it's our new product. Our floor cheers fits on top of a bottle, real nice. Uh, fit a champagne bottle also, and it's just a nice way to uh, give a bottle of wine and a pretty uh, bouquet along with it. So you'll need your floor cheers. You're gonna need a container with about a quart of warm water. And warm, you want it about 100 degrees. You want it like warm bath water. And the reason that we want warm water is because flowers take up water easier with warm water than cool water. So we'll have that. You're gonna need a pair of trimmers or a pair of snippers, whichever you have. You might want a towel around. It might you might get drips on your counter. And then for this arrangement, um, I said just a large bouquet. So this is the large bouquet I have, and there's a lot of different fun stuff inside there um, to play with in your arrangement. And then two, you can always get a fun um, accent flower for filler or you could grab a fun uh, textured filler just to add a little fun texture in there. Or you could grab some greens um, to add in with your arrangement. So there's lots of different things you can add in here. I'm gonna start with this. Oh, wait. So to soak this, we're gonna want to lay it on the top of the water and let it soak freely. You don't wanna push it under the water. If you push it under the water, you're gonna get air pockets in there and your flowers won't have water. So I'm just gonna place it upside down, so plastic side up and just let it float on top of the water. And you'll know when it's fully soaked. I don't know if you can see the little bubbles. Yeah, you can kind of see them. So we're gonna wait until all the bubbles have stopped. And then we know that all the air is out of the wet foam. It's not gonna sink all the way under the water. It is gonna float, but just letting those bubbles come up lets you know that it's fully saturated. And it takes a little bit of time. So we have Emma and we have Grace on chat today. If you guys have any questions, they'll be sure to try to answer them or ask me. And it looks like we're about done. So it's soaked. So they're just going to let it drip. I'm going to set this right on that towel. So inside this water, when you get your flowers, all your flower packets are gonna have this, this flower food. This particular size packet does a quart, which is what I have in the bucket. So you wanna, you wanna use this flower food with the warm water. It's gonna let that flower food dissolve completely. And you really wanna make sure that you use this for your flowers because it's gonna, it's going to keep the bacteria out of your out of your water. It's going to keep um, keep them with food, and it also has a um, something in it to help them uptake the water a little better, a little easier. So there's lots of good things in these in these food packets. So you definitely want to use them. So you're going to mix that up in your container of water, and you're going to mix it until it's completely dissolved. Hey, Donnie, this is Felicia. Mm -hmm. 
Really quick, um, in the supplies, when um, the class was uploaded, it was not the floor chair, uh, chair wet foam. It was the um, the floor craft stone uh, styrofoam disc arranger. Could oh, they be the same? We were told that was changed. It does not appear on the website that it was changed. But for those who may have already, um, you have the disc. Would they be able to do the same thing with fresh flowers? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, we're gonna. They will definitely need wet foam for the fresh. Understood. Yeah, we caught that actually, and we're told that that would that that was changed. So, I I apologize for that. We thought we had that covered. Um. I can, I can certainly show a silk. And so, cheers. Def, what I would say, I did put the link in the chat. So if anyone needed the, um, want to just watch for now and go back and get um, the wet, the other wet foam, that's definitely an option. Um, it's however you want to do it. Uh, but definitely just so they would know to be, to, so to be able to know how to use it. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely our XPS would be for silk stems for wired stems for faux florals. Um, the disc that was on there, that's our green flora, flora foam. And this will be our, our wet foam that's in the flora cheers. Um, Yeah, I I apologize. All right. So when you get your flowers, I mean, I guess I just keep going, right? <laughs> what else to do? When you get your flowers um home, you're gonna want to take them out of their cellophane. And you just look through them, see if there's any that are damaged or dead that you want to pull out and get rid of. You want you want all the dead um, flowers and foliage out of there because they put off a gas that that kills the other flowers. So you don't really want any dead or damaged product in there. And so when you get them home, you're gonna open them up, you're gonna take them out of the plastic, you're gonna put them in that warm water with the flower food. When you put them in that warm water, you're gonna to wanna to take like about an inch and cut them at an angle and cut every stem at an angle before you put it in that water. If you can cut these under the water, it's even better to cut them under the water, but if you get them in the water quick enough, you're fine. You just don't want them to take up any air. So you're gonna do that with all your flowers, all your fillers, you're gonna take them out of these plastics. Give them a fresh cut and put them in that warm water. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help them open up and kind of perk up from being all smushed inside that plastic. Now, if you get your flowers and you're not going to use them right away, if you're going to, if you buy them a day or so ahead of time, um, you'll want to keep those flowers cool until you're ready to use them because then they'll last a little bit longer. Now, Donnie, we have a question about water softener. Is it okay to put the flower food in the water softener? Will that affect the longevity of the life of the flower? You know... What I've heard is if you have a water softener to um, buy distilled water in the gallon, just to be on the safe side. So I'm just getting these out, cutting them open, looking for any damage. And there's a whole stem that's kind of bad. Now, these are all grocery store flowers, so you just kind of never know about the grocery store flowers. Um, the other option is to go to your local flora and ask them to put together a bouquet for you. You're going to get much nicer flowers that are going to last a little longer for you. All 
All right, let's get started. So what I'm doing, just to have it up off the table, I'm gonna use this foam cone as a, as a stand for it. That way you can kind of push it right down on there and it'll, it'll hold it on there nice for you. So because I have some big roses in here, I'm gonna start with them. They'll be the kind of the filler flower. And I wanna show you guys when you're using a bigger head like this, um, you can put it in a little bit of a different angle. So you have a little bit more room for your stem to insert. And on this one here, you can see this still has its little, they call them guard petals and they're just kind of ugly. So you just wanna peel them back and get them off of there. You just don't wanna look at that in your arrangement. And any other petals that are damaged or, or bent like that one, just peel it right off there. It looks like I have three roses. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these around. You're gonna cut a stem about uh, one and a half to two inches for your roses. And then if you see how I'm putting it in at an angle, so it has all that room to go in the foam, where if I put it in like this, see how it goes right through the other side. So you'll just wanna just put it in at an angle so it stays inside the foam. And I'm just going to go ahead and put three of these in, make that a little bit shorter, like that. I'm going to put these in at three points. Three evenly spaced, I guess. And then we'll just fill in around these three with the other florals. And that's about the third. So there's your focals. And I have a couple of these really pretty. I have two of them. It's like I only have two of these uh, Queen Anne's lace. They're kind of big, so I'll stick those in, a couple of those in between here. Put one on one side. And because I put one on that side, I'm going to put one over on the other side. Just to keep them evenly spaced. I have in this arrangement, I have a couple of these long ones. And I think just to show you that it doesn't have to be compact, you can make it kind of flow and, and do whatever you want, kind of flow down the, down the bottle. So I'm going to use one of these and you're going to bring it in from the bottom, maybe not that long, about an inch and a half, bring it in from the bottom and let it and let it hang down. So that will be your uh, trail on that side. And because it's trail on that side, we can make a diagonal and we'll bring this one up the other way. And if you don't have these certain flowers in your bunch, that's fine. You can, you can do this with greenery. I'll show you that. And if you get somewhere where there's a, stem just move it a little bit so then that'll give you your I'm gonna move this one over that'll give you your diagonal shape oh that's probably a better view huh I'm just gonna fill in a little bit around here with some of this purple You want some of your flowers to stick out a little bit, some of them to stand in a little bit, gives you a little bit of depth in there. And 
And then just whatever you do on one side, you're just going to repeat that on the other side and it just keeps everything symmetrical and looking nice. Now, Dondi, someone's asking, it looks like they purchased our fluorofoam for this. They're wondering how big they should cut from a block. Sounds like they purchased a brick. Okay. How, how All right. you know, much Probably of a diameter? This um, diameter of our floor cheers is probably three and a half inches across. Um, so you probably only need like a little over a, you know, maybe even a third of a brick, a little over a half or a third of a brick, I'll bet would, would be plenty for this. And then if you're going to use a brick, and just put the brick on top of the bottle bottle. I would um, use like cellophane and and put cellophane on the bottom of it so that when you put it on the bottle, it the cellophane kind of covers the bottle so you don't get water and yuck all over your bottle label and and have a mess. <laughs> but it will work. Um, it's done all over social media right now, so. But yeah, a little bit of cellophane just so that it doesn't let water everywhere. All right, I'm just filling in with a little bit of this lavender mums. Like I said, push some of them in a little deeper and let some of them poke out a little further. Just gives your eye somewhere to, to follow. Don, you may be planning to bring this up later, but someone's asking, how do you recommend keeping this particular arrangement watered? So you're just going to drizzle a little water over the top of it. Um, get yourself, I don't know if it has to be a funnel, but somehow that you can just, just gingerly drizzle water over the top of this and it'll just drain down. I have some bright pink to add in and I'm just, this is just going to be an all over arrangement. There's, um, just going to keep poking things in until it's filled in. more of this pink. How's everyone doing out there? feel bad that they're doing that product didn't get changed. All right. Looks like have some of these fun little uh, rose hips. You can add in stuff like this for texture. It's just a fun something for your eye to look at. Catches your eye. I'll put those, you just want them in a few different places so it's even. Add in some more. And you just keep track of where your stems are going. You don't want any of your stems to go inside there because you won't be able to get it on your bottle. You just be hey, careful Donnie. where you place. Yes? Miss Felicia, there was a question that came to me asking, 
how long do you expect these flowers to last? Um, if you're giving them water uh, regularly, you know, every every couple days, I've had these last up to a week or over a week. Um, should with the food in there, the food really helps keep them hydrated, keep them fed. And it keeps the bacteria out. So you're just going to keep plugging away, filling this in. And then another thing you got to remember is this is going to be sitting on the table. So when you're sitting down here, at the table and you look in, I can see that there's quite a few holes underneath. So just keep looking at all angles of the arrangement to make sure that you fill in all the little holes that you need to. So everybody has a pretty spot to look at. And then if you have some kind of fun texture, I happen to find this thistle at our supermarket. And I just think that's really pretty how that looks in there. We'll add a little bit of that. And maybe we'll let some of that thistle hang out with, hang down with this flower. Take some of that texture down there. That one's too long. Or are you um, in the top, it's just straight in. Um, you have a little bit of depth in your foam, so you're you have a little bit more room to work with. Um, just you can kind of lay your lay your stem up against it, and you can kind of see, you know, is it gonna is it gonna pop through the other side? Do I need to angle it? And I mean, I've done I don't know how many of these little guys, and I still find myself poking through the other side. Now, one thing is if you put your flower in and it pokes through the other side and you go, oh, that's too far and you pull it back out so that it's not inside there, your flower's not, the end of your flower's not getting any water because there's a hole there. So if you push it through and then pull it back out, you really need to like reinsert it in a different angle or a different hole so that the end of your stem is always in contact with the foam or it's not gonna get water. I have these other fun little greens. I'm just gonna add those to this diagonal just to kind of reinforce it. And then because I put some over there, I'll put some over here. I'll put a thistle out over here. Just an easy, way to keep everything symmetrical if you do the same thing on one side that you do on the other. Now, Dottie, when you pick out your flowers, is there anything that you, you know, look for maybe over something else? Is there anything that you don't put together? Really with these flora cheers, it's really a lot better to buy smaller blossomed flowers. Um, the it's just such a tiny um, arranger that a lot of those bigger flowers are just too heavy. So I try to use, like instead of using standard mums, I'll use spray mums or spray roses or um, mini carnations or something like that. Just the smaller blossomed flowers work better in here. 
just because of its size. But I mean, you can see we're getting a lot of product in this little arranger. So I'm gonna add that little bit of greens on that side, keeping our angle still a diagonal. And then we can throw in some of this too. And then like this heavy greenery. All right. <laughs> Didn't want to open. So then if you wanted to add some of this other greenery. This would still reinforce your line. I would take that right up under. Oh, don't push out your other ones in the meantime. <laughs> Popped him right out, I did. There we go. Yeah, and you can just use littler pieces of this. And then if you cut it off and you have all those little pieces, just, just rip them off so that you have a nice clean stem to insert. Now I'm just adding these in just to reinforce this line. And because I did it over there, I'm going to do it over here. So Dondi, the foam that you're using today is our wet foam, which is for real flowers. Yes. If someone wanted to use silk stems, like with our craft foam or our flora foam, how would your, um, how would the process look different potentially? Um, or would it look different? Would it be exactly the same from, from a design standpoint? I was going to say for designing it, it'll be exactly the same. You're gonna you're gonna use the same exact rhythm. You're gonna start with your fillers, you're gonna decide what your shape is, and then you're or I'm sorry, you're gonna start with your focals, put them in, and then start filling in or using your whatever shape. If you want it round and, and mounted, then just just keep everything kind of tight and a kind of the same diameter. But just to show you that you can you can change it up and and give it a a different shape. So you find out your shape and then start filling in with all your fillers. Basically the exact same thing with silk, dried, or fresh. I'm just gonna take a few of these and bring them in. Just cut them shorter and just let those be in and around the arrangement and that will give it a little more texture. Then if you're not gonna use, if you're not gonna give this right away, if you're making it like the day before, um, and you're going to give it later, you want to keep it cool um, until you're ready to give it as a gift. Like even in the refrigerator, you can keep it in the refrigerator, just anywhere cool. And if you can't put it in the refrigerator, you want it somewhere that it's not in a um, direct draft, like a, like a hot draft or a cool draft. You want to keep it away from that and you want to keep it away from direct sunlight. Direct sunlight's not great for fresh flowers. How's everybody doing? I think it's filling up. Add another one of these. I don't know why 
this guy don't want to stay. Don, do you know what time it is? I'm sure. Oh, goodness. I bet it's time for joke of the day. <laughs> it is. So for those of you who haven't joined us before here at Floracraft, we love to make it fun. And so with that being said, are you ready, Dondi, for the joke I of the day? I am ready. What is a flower's favorite kind of pickle? Well, I learned something new. I didn't know flowers liked pickles. They do. Um, I'm I'm out. I'm I'm not sure. You'll have to you'll have to tell me that one. A daffodil. Of course. Come on. Why did I not know that? And they're almost ready to bloom. A little thinking spring there. All right, so now all I'm doing is taking all these little greens and these little fillers, and I'm just anywhere that I can see foam, I'm just poking them in. And when you're arranging this, I don't know if you can see on camera, but you're going to get, so when you poke, your flower in it displaces water from the foam so every time you poke a flower in, you're going to get a little drip um, don't think that it's going to sit there and drip and drip and drip all over your table it does quit it's only dripping because you're pushing the water out of it What's our time looking like, ladies? We have about 25 minutes left. Yeah, so I'm gonna jump off camera two seconds and I'm gonna grab a silk Flora Cheers so that you guys can see. That it doesn't look a whole lot different in silk that it does. Now this one's not totally covered, one that I had in back, but a silk is gonna look very similar to, to the fresh with the, with the disc. Um, that disc I think is a six inch. You would probably only need, you would shave some of that off and use, you know, four inches of it with the hole in the center would be plenty. And we, uh, so you have your, your gift. And then if you get the gift and you wanna drink your wine, You'll need somewhere to store your arrangement while you're drinking your wine because you want to enjoy it while you're enjoying your wine. So a couple things you can do, you can set it on top of a candlestick and just have it be a pedestal and just, just have that be. Um, you could actually put a candle in here maybe LED would be safer candle in here um, and actually burn the candle with it or instead of on top of a candlestick you could actually put it right around a candle and use it as a candle ring on your table with a candle so there's several things that you can do with it If you don't want to give it on a wine bottle, you could give it on a pedestal. But I mean, who wouldn't want to give it on wine, right? So there's a couple different ideas 
I'm going to plug away a couple more snips. Does anybody have any further questions for me? Just remember just remember that all the ends of your stems have to be inside the foam to drink water. And then I would just take this like right over to the sink and just, you can peel back these flowers and just drizzle the water right inside there to, to water it. And it should last you, I'd, I'd say a good, good week. Um, if it's kept cool and kept out of draft and out of sunlight, you might get Might get a week and a half, might get two weeks. And that's that depends on the life of your flowers too, how how old they were when you got them. Now, Dondi, someone's wondering the best way to transport this somewhere. Would you put it in a box? Could you wrap it? What's your recommendation? Yeah, it's kind of hard when, especially if you do the trailing. Um, but yeah, I, I would say a low box, maybe stuff some some tissue paper around it so it doesn't jiggle around would work. Um, if it's if it's a, a roundy moundy and it doesn't have the trailing greens or anything, you could even just do tissue paper, bring tissue paper up and just let the tissue kind of fit around the flowers to kind of protect them. And it would Tie a little ribbon around it. Be cute. Is there anything else that's... I can't think of anything else. Um, we do have our next craft coming up. Is a really cute little... Is that in the chat? So we'll be, I'll be showing you how to cut out those little bunnies. And um, I think we might even share the templates maybe with you so that um, you can cut out your little bunnies and uh, make that cute arrangement in our aquatainer. I think that's about it. All right, so here's two different looks. You can do it in silk. You could do it with dry foam with um, all your preserved drieds. Um, just a fun project. There's no other questions. I'm gonna say goodbye. Thanks everyone for crafting along if you were able. Dondi, right before you was getting ready to say your goodbyes, I had to walk up, come into me. Um, the okay. question is asking, do they need a hot knife uh, if not making bunnies? I'm not for no. sure. No, they will not. Okay. Nope, the hot knife is only to cut out the bunnies. And actually, I think I put in there that you could use a handsaw. At, was there an option? Not sure if I put an option in for that one, but um, we can even, I can even show how to cut out the bunnies with a knife. So if you still want to make the bunnies, but you don't want to get the hot knife, we can do it that way too. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Hope everyone have a great rest of their day. So yeah. Thank you.